How did Angus Cloud pass away? Are Harry Styles and Olivia Wilde back together? And why did Elon Musk just reinstate Kanye West back on Twitter? In what has to be the most tragic news of the week, Euphoria actor Angus Cloud has passed away at the age of 25. His publicist Kate Bailey said that he died Monday at his family home in Oakland, California. Angus's family released a statement explaining that his father had recently died and that he had intensely struggled with the loss. They said, as an artist, as a friend, a brother and a son, Angus was special to all of us in so many ways. The only comfort we have is knowing Angus is now reunited with his dad, who was his best friend. Angus was open about his battle with mental health, and we hope that his passing can be a reminder to others that they are not alone and should not fight this on their own in silence. The actor hailed from Oakland, and he rose to fame on Euphoria playing the iconic character Fez, who quickly became a fan favorite. His role as a slow-talking but magnetic character reflected his demeanor in real life. Like in interviews where he seemed hesitant to talk to reporters on the red carpet. To some people, Angus seems so natural as Fez that they thought he wasn't acting, which is something that he himself has challenged. During an interview with Variety, he said, It does bother me when people are like, it must be so easy. You get to go in and just be yourself. And I'm like, why don't you go and do that? It's not that simple. I brought a lot to the character. In that same interview, he also talked about a traumatic brain injury that he suffered as a teenager, which explained the scar across his scalp. He said that he had split off from a group of friends walking through downtown Oakland at night. It was then that he ended up falling into a construction pit that he hadn't spotted until it was too late. He woke up 12 hours later and was physically trapped in the pit. Angus was eventually able to climb out, but he said that it was very difficult because his actual skull was broken. His skin remained intact though, so all the bleeding was internal and pressing up against his brain. So basically, it was a life or death situation. Incredibly, he went into survival mode and managed to pull himself out of the pit, even with broken fingers. He took the bus to his mom's house and she took him straight to the hospital where he underwent surgery and spent five days in the ICU. The reporter who spoke to Angus that day said within minutes it became clear that his freak accident was the cause of his slowed speech and his speech was the reason people stereotyped him. He was frustrated that he'd never spoken up about the injury before. After all, why let people make fun of you when you can prove that they are uninformed? But Angus saw it differently. From his perspective, the only reason people didn't know is that they didn't ask. In his words, he said, you can believe what you want, it ain't got nothing to do with me. It's well known that Angus hadn't acted before he was cast in Euphoria. The story goes that he was walking down the street in New York when a casting scout noticed him. At first he was a little resistant to the idea and suspected a scam. But then the casting director met with him and the series creator Sam Levinson eventually made him a co-star in the show alongside Zendaya. When asked about the tragic news of Angus's passing, Sam said there was no one quite like Angus. He was too special, too talented and way too young to leave us so soon. He also struggled like many of us with addiction and depression. I hope he knew how many hearts he touched. I love him. I always will. Mason Shia Joyce, the actor who plays a young Fez on Euphoria, also released a statement saying that he was kind and supportive and never too busy for a quick chat or pep talk. He said it was an honor to play young Fezco. For their part, HBO also released a statement saying we are incredibly sad and to learn of the passing of Angus Cloud. He was immensely talented and a beloved part of HBO and Euphoria. We extend our deepest condolences to his friends and family during this difficult time. At the time, of his passing, Angus had a supporting role in his first film called The Lion, alongside Alex Wolf and John Malkovich. He also had recently finished filming for his role in a thriller for Universal, which was directed by the makers of Scream 6 and set to be released in April next year. But just from his time on Euphoria, we know that he was an incredible talent who had an amazing career ahead of him, which just makes everything about this such a tragedy. We'll know more about his passing in the coming days and be sure to keep you updated. Alright, now what is going on with Harry Styles and Olivia Wilde? Why are people saying that they're back together? Well, there's quite a few reasons. So over the weekend, Harry was photographed hanging out on a boat in Italy with all of his tattoos on display. Fans noticed a rather large one on his thigh with the word Olivia spelled out in italic font. Now this very clearly looks like a relationship tattoo that he would have got while they were together. Yes, there could also be another explanation. Some people speculated that it could have to do with the One Direction song Olivia from the 2015 album Made in the AM. But at the same time, it does seem to be something that is tied to their romantic relationship relationship. So the fact that Harry hasn't gotten it removed yet does make this point seem a little more suspicious. What's really interesting about this tattoo is that Olivia also happens to be in Italy at the moment. On her Instagram story, she posted a bunch of content like random photos of fruit at an Italian market and products in store windows. So Harry and Olivia are both there at the same time, even though there are no signs of them actually being together. Their relationship was over about eight months ago, but it's not that easy to forget, seeing that it sparked so much controversy
controversy over the years. Fans went crazy when photos debuted of them back in 2021 just holding hands. Basically, Harry's fans were angry that he was dating someone much older, even though the age gap between them is only 10 years. While they were together, almost everything about their relationship was scrutinized. For instance, when Olivia and Harry turned up to the Venice Film Festival separately, for the premiere of Don't Worry Darling, fans took that as a sign that they were no longer together, and they started celebrating their breakup months before it actually happened. And that's not even getting into all the drama with Olivia's ex Jason Sudeikis. It was pure madness. After a 7 year engagement, the pair announced that they had separated in November of 2020. Like most celebrity couples that live in the public eye, their divorce was very messy. And so was their big public breakup and bitter custody battle over their two children. But it seems like these two are still at each other's throats, which may or may not be due to the fact that Olivia allegedly cheated on Jason with Harry Styles, which was one of the main reasons for their split. In fact, it was heavily implied that the two of them had been having an affair for about a month before the breakup. And what made it worse was that Jason reportedly didn't realize it was happening and even brought their children to visit the set. The drama escalated when Olivia was presenting on stage at CinemaCon and she was served custody papers halfway through her talk. At that point, it became clear just how bitter their breakup was really going to get. She later spoke to Variety and said, I hated that this nastiness distracted from the work of so many different people and the studio that I was up there representing. To try and sabotage that was really vicious. But you know, sadly, it was not something that was entirely surprising to me. I mean, there's a reason I left that relationship. Even though that one ended badly, her relationship with Harry more or less fizzled out too. And there didn't seem to be any bad blood between them. Some say the reason they split up was simply down to scheduling conflicts and the fact that they didn't want to have a long distance relationship. But realistically, Olivia was getting a lot of hate from Harry's fans, who are notoriously protective over him. So that could have been a contributing factor. And none of that has gone away. In fact, his fan base is arguably more vicious than ever. So if those two really do get back together, it will be much of the same. And now, have you been on X lately, aka the new Twitter, which we are now supposed to stop referring to? Well, there's been more changes than just the name, because Elon Musk has now decided to reinstate Kanye West's account, which had been suspended for nearly eight months for inciting violence. He posted a series of anti-Semitic tweets, which is around the same time that he made similar statements after appearing in various interviews. Now, seven months after the suspension, it looks like Elon Musk changed his mind. Kanye's account has now been reinstated, complete with its 31.6 million followers and a little gold verification badge. The only difference this time around is that he won't be eligible to monetize his account on X and advertisements won't appear next to his posts. His account was apparently restored under the one condition that he doesn't post hateful or anti-Semitic content. But who knows if that's a promise he'll actually be sticking to. The only thing we know for sure about Kanye's recent silence is that it hasn't come with any kind of real apology. If anything, he's only made a joke about the whole situation. When Elon Musk took over Twitter, he quickly started unbanning several accounts, and a large number of them belong to right-wing figures. While many people are surprised about the sudden rebrand, the letter X is actually a part of a 25-year-long obsession for Elon. In fact, in 1999, he put so much of his fortune into X.com that he only had $4 million left. At the time, he had just sold his first startup, which was a city guide website called Zip2. He made $22 million on that deal and did not play it safe with his winnings. He spent $18 million building X.com, which he wanted to be an online hub for every kind of financial transaction in the world. Now you might be wondering, what does X have to do with finance? Well, he thought it would remind people of buried treasure, as in X marks the spot. But that was not the same thing that other people associated the letter with. I mean, you really can't forget about X-rated films. But Elon did not listen to the general consensus, even from his colleagues. And in the end, his blind devotion to X led to a boardroom coup that overthrew him as CEO. And eventually they got rid of the X name, which they then replaced with PayPal. So there is a lot of history behind it, and for whatever reason, it's something that Elon has not been able to let go of all these years. So on July 24th, he replaced the bird logo with the letter X. He also announced that same day that he plans to turn X into an everything app that has pervasive communications and the ability to operate your entire financial world. To give you some insight into what he plans on doing with it, he strongly expressed his admiration for China's all-in-one app called WeChat. He called it a really cool model and described it as everything rolled into one with a really great interface. Elon explained that we don't have anything like it outside of China, and that right there is his path forward. Whether or not that will become a success is a different thing entirely, because he's already been getting a lot of trouble for the new X logo. He put up a controversial glowing sign on the roof of Twitter's San Francisco headquarters, and it was just taken down yesterday. This is no surprise considering that the city's building inspectors were apparently denied entry into the headquarters both on Friday and on Saturday. They wanted to 
inspect the sign because it was built without a permit and looked like it was only held in place with sandbags. City officials have since declared that the sign was illegal and they said that it needed to be removed. So that's not exactly a great start to this new company. There's really no telling if this rebrand is going to be able to dig Twitter out of its deep financial hole because so far things are not looking good. What do you guys think about this new story? Please let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you all in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,